and today we'll be looking at a few things you may have just heard it a skeleton falling this is my XP farm these blocks above it say that if you grief it ah that that's not what I meant to say it's to protect chests if you put a block above it like my storage room idea like no one can take stuff from it and people can tell if you took stuff from it because you'll have to break the block and they have, I think, Watchdog it allows them to see who broke the block, so... That furnace... and yeah, let's mimic that on the other side. So, the idea of this is there are skeleton spawners in it, which I bought at the tree. Well, I bought them as pig spawners, and I think Gwaisu, or Psych Monkey, was kind enough to change them into skeleton spawners. Actually, I think each of them did one. And now, what happens is the skeletons spawn in this area. We can see it back here, this little viewing area, really rough still, you can see them go, that diamond is the spawner, just I think false book, hmm, wonder why he's being pushed away, I'll have to take a look at that, but the idea is you get a sword from that chest, you allow the spawn skeletons to spawn and fall down, then you kill them all, delicious bow, wasn't, ooh, nice power one bow. I'll be keeping that, and then you p eventually put everything you got into here. I like to keep 20 or so arrows on me, and you just keep farming them that way. So I am going to go take a look at the problem we were having back there, and I will see you soon. I'm back. Turns out I forgot to place a block, or one time when I wanted to renovate it, like, I forgot to replace a block I destroyed, so... Gwaiso decided that we would change this around, so he made it into this kind of collection area, which is more convenient, because I'm normally in, like, this area, and not all the way over here. I wonder what that is. Let me take a check. I don't know, it does... looks like all my stuff is still in there. Now that you know that the stuff's in there, <laughs> you might take it. No offense, and just constantly griefed from people that see something and they're like, Ooh, that looks like some delicious diamonds you left in that chest. Or one guy who decided to take my diamond floor, but he's been interviewed now to see why he did it. And since it was such a smug grief, we decided to make a one-time arrangement that we would let him stay on the server unless he griefed again. Like, even a smaller grief, he'd be off. But don't think that that can happen to you. That was a really rare occasion. So the cactus farm is working great, and this thing works really well. I still have to add some more glass along there. And I'm probably going to add glass on this side of the chute as well. Ooh, Deltoro is here. Hola del, del Tohu Full House. Yay, everyone's on. His nickname is Chero for some reason. I don't know. I think he used to enjoy reading that book. Ah, I have too many bows now. So I could make this more efficient where you don't need a sword, but this just minimizes the amount of mobs that die from that. Lots of bows from that. So now I can show you... Oh. Full houses really aren't that good because it causes some lag. Not the greatest time. Not the greatest time to record. But let's show you. Oh, first this area I terraformed. Remember the really odd, like straight line that goes that way and that way. Well, I terraformed everything from I think here to here all the way down. Like was even odd like up to here so I fixed that up added this little area out planted that tree up there made this mountain and I marked that off because there's something behind there and I added this little path which brings me to my next thing that tower is incomplete, but sometimes I don't want to go down that path, which I think looks really great from a distance, and I just hop on down, come this way, and follow along. But we'll get to the tower, you just wait, Mr. or Mrs. 
probably missed her with the like amount of views I'm getting and like only point something percent is oh not misters so we have this now that's not done either I'm probably going to end up going and adding half labs like that and like that to make it look a bit more stable and I might add a support beam going down we have this now and I still don't have wood to add here so you can hop on that you have to go like that and let us go look at the lighthouse I don't currently have enough materials to finish this lighthouse I keep calling it that but it's probably not going to be a lighthouse I might make it a path to the mob system if it gets high enough and I might just make it something that's just a tall structure that you can look out onto the beautiful landscape from so everything here on like I think that's where it ended the path just I l decided to race it up add kind of a sidewalk thing it's a nice view from up here you go up through this mountain in the tunnel and eventually you come to the nice white house it's white house first it's a lighthouse now it's a white house but it's actually a water tower I don't know so the whole idea of this is similar to goods I know it's kind of abrupt I still have lots of refinements to make it's a water tower so in goods he has lapis or here I have full blocks and that's actually the material I'm out of right now so I started using cobble and up here I have these torches which have the lighting glitch which I'm not sure if I like or not I just am using run on sentences like there is no tomorrow eventually I might switch that to glowstone if I think it looks better tell me what you think I actually kinda like that a bit more but for the time being I'm going to leave it as the torches so this tower goes up quite a ways like it takes a long time to get up all these stairs so many stairs so the lapis got me to about here I forget who it was sorry but they gave me enough lapis to do a flight of this so those two and three of that or so and it just keeps going up and up I haven't added the torches or the three upside down half slabs there yet and it just keeps going and going it's been taking me a really long time to do this I should eat some whoa language people normally there's not this much swearing so eventually that tower will be gone and it won't be that annoying let's turn the render distance up from normal to far just so that we don't get that far when we're looking down can I just see lightning I wonder what that's about alright and Seth Bling the other day uploaded a video of his sky grid map and that looks like a lot of fun to do good job Seth Bling right now I'm watching Pyro Puncher I think his playthrough of that and it looks pretty nice I might do that f as a video but I'm pretty busy so I don't know if I'll really have time to do it but I should be able to so if you see less videos like less often I'm videos that doesn't make sense let me try that again if you think videos are coming out less often that's probably true I'm having exams and final evaluation projects now which take up a lot of my time in fact I have one due tomorrow and another assignment so I should probably be working on that instead of recording this but I love procrastination oh soft kitty that's a new player on the surfer they've been on a few times but they came on the other day I was on to welcome them it was nice so cactus farm ah the sugar came I haven't showed that yet so that's the mob system I just showed you my house I still have refinements to do to that and the path going up I might have to change that to half slabs but I I'm going to need permission because I didn't build that. 
So I wonder if the water drop's gonna work from this high. It's only one deep, but there's some like glitch with the crafting table where you go into it, so sometimes this does work. Other times I've just died doing this. And today it works. How lucky. Normally I think you should take fall damage from that. And I haven't enchanted my armor because I died. Hmm. So sometimes I'm just lazy and I don't want to go down that path. Ah, this is the bridge that I showed you before. Yeah, so let's take a look at the sugarcane farm. It's not quite finished. Like, the redstone isn't all hooked up. And there might be a few refinements to it, but so far it's looking pretty good. Ah, uh, the idea is pistons behind push out. I think there's a couple hooked up. Yeah, just those few. And the sugarcane comes down here. Nice, delicious sugarcane. So, I won't have to harvest my farm as often. I can just press one button here and, and that will be enjoyable. Ah, I forgot. I haven't shown you guys this, this cave yet, but it's a pretty cool under ice cave. And I haven't done that much exploring of it. I think I explored it with another server member. I forget who. Maybe Papa Junkins? Still spots I. Ooh, I haven't finished. Still resources I haven't gotten. But I think that's all I can really do for today. I'll try and edit the first video, not the second one, because I have to finish that project. But now it's turned into caving. Why not? Let's go. Is that a chicken there? Let's go home. I set my home up here now so that I don't have to climb up every time. Uh, well, I wonder what that is. That's where my sand farm is. By the way, if you're wondering where I got the sandstone for that and the nether, most of it was gotten from over there. Even though it's just a beach, there's plenty in it. So, I've done a lot around here. Not too long ago, it was just that... <laughs> wow. One second. Sorry about that. I had a bit of a like dry throat. So, just need to cough and now I'm better. It's great. So, as I was saying, not too long ago there was just a little bitty house there. That wing wasn't done. That whole area down there didn't have a roof. And the flag was awful. But now I have a lot built and it really gets everything into perspective when you look from this tower. We have the mob system, that, I had some stuff in the mines, and I think that's all. Yes, that is all. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I know I had fun doing everything so far, and I hope to keep putting these episodes out as much as I humanly can, because they take a while. Like, hours and hours of building, and then a half hour, an hour to get a video finished of like everything I've done. So I hope you appreciate them, cause, but I have fun doing them anyway, so even if you don't appreciate them, at least I, en I enjoyed it. And that is all for this episode. I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you for watching, of course. Have a good day. Bye-bye.